So what's up, Zach? Thank you so much for joining me here. Tell us a little bit about the Dolphin Board of Awesome. What, what do we have here? What makes this different from other surfboards? Sure. So the Dolphin Board of Awesome, right here, this is the very first 3D printed, compostable, recyclable surfboard ever made. That is fantastic. Super future and super far out. Can you tell me a little bit about the process? I feel like there's two different kind of uh, things going on here. It being the first prototype you've done. This part is plastic water bottles. That's right. And this part is algae. Mm -hmm. So why did you choose algae? Sure. So the, yeah, this um, material that we used for the green sections of the board here mm. are derived from algae in lakes in the middle of the United States of America, okay. where the algae is actually invasive, mm. and it's sucking oxygen out of these lakes and killing life. Um, so there's a company we work with that uh, has figured out a way to collect that algae, literally skim it out of these lakes, and turn it into a 3D printing ink. And we decided to go with them because we felt like it just told a really great story about what could be done with different materials that are, say, invasive, like um, eutrophic algae, and turn it into something beautiful um, that can make people's lives better, like a surfboard. And then this section here is uh, derived from plastic water bottles. Nate Petrie, who is the 3D printing genius behind making this whole board has a lab partner where he works in London who figured out a way to create a 3D printing ink out of those recycled plastic water bottles. Awesome. I mean, it's so exciting where like the future is going with everything and even just wrapping my head around something that's 3D printed. So is this board entirely 3D printed because it looks like there's a little bit of fiberglass or, mm -hmm. or resin on it? Like, is it 90% 3D printed? Right. What's the percentage we're looking at? Yeah, I think the percentage here is probably about 95% 3D printed. Cool. 95% um, uh, compostable or recyclable. Um, and then the last little bit is actually a resin that was created by a company called Entropy Resins in California. Okay. That um, basically figured out a way to replace the toxic, volatile, organic compound of mini resins that we normally use on surfboards with um, a plant-based source. I mean, I'm so excited about this, A, because, you know, being a surfer, knowing that there's so much toxicity in the boards we use and in some of the products we use, and so this makes me so excited for the future because obviously we all love, love the natural world. And so what really was the thing that fueled you to get to this point? Like, what, what pushed you to work on creating the first ever something like this with your team of people? Yeah, I, I think, you know, when we first came together to make the Dolphin Board of Awesome, which was just a small group of us literally just getting together to chat about what the future of surfing could look like from mm -hmm. a sustainability angle, um, we also wanted to use the board and this project as a way to just animate what's possible for um, sustainable manufacturing and materials um, in a way that people will understand immediately. I think as we move forward, um, hopefully people will just start seeing it all over the place. Um, but yeah, go to dolphinboardofawesome.com to find out now kind of what you can do to get involved or get one of these boards into your feet eventually or if you just want to help us move forward. That's so. what's up. And I want to get it moving under my feet. Yeah. So I know it's not barreling out there, but can we go ride it? Hell yeah. Let's do this. Thanks, Adam. Woo, thank you, Cass. Awesome. Thanks. <laughs>
and having the surfing community um, exist in a more sustainable way. And I'm just like really grateful to have this opportunity to spend some time with Zach and the dolphin board are awesome and ride a couple waves down here and I'm just still for the longboard version. Can't wait.